Muslims want Sharia to rule America? No, man. Look, look at this no. You see how big it is? <clears throat> look with me. This is big no. Who's saying that a Muslim? You see how they try to fool you to say, no, no, we don't want that. Okay, a question then. Why you don't want that? Why you don't want America to be ruled by Sharia law? Are you a Muslim who hates Sharia law? Because the answer should be yes. As an example, I'm just speaking about honesty now. If you ask me, do you want America to follow the Bible? You know, to follow the teaching of Jesus Christ? I will say yes. I will not say no, as he said in here. Any honest believer in, in any belief, he right away will say yes. He will not say no. So no in here is fishy and it's a big fat lie and will put the question mark next to it. Remember, <clears throat> the Quran teach that religion must be not matter of a state. What? Sharia is a personal relationship with God. The Prophet Muhammad even as the de facto ruler of Arabia wrote the charter of, Medina, of Medina in which Muslim were hold Sharia alone and the Jews okay just wait okay and uh, and the Jews to law of the Torah not a single non-Muslim was healed to Sharia you know you see those those lies you see, they try to fool you. There is, a, there is a huge difference between Muhammad when he was able to do that because in the same city he's talking about, Muhammad, he killed all the Jews later. Not only he forced them to Sharia, although he forced them to Islam. Either you convert or I kill you. Actually, he, called, he killed more, most of them. And he enslaved all the children. So, they try to fool you, says, oh, Muhammad, he did not force people, you know, like the Christians, he did not force them. Well, let us see if this is what the Quran says. Let us go to chapter 9, verse number 29. This is chapter 9, verse number 29 and 28 in here. O oh, you believe, uh, verily, the Mishrakeen is are impure. You are not only not good, you are you are dirty. Actually, in Arabic, the word is najis. Najis means dirt from very, very ugly dirt. Not like touching the wall or something. No, they are dirty from hupu. So Islam believe everyone is not a Muslim because who is the mushrikeen by the way? Anyone is not a Muslim. As long as you worship a different God, you know, it's mean you are worshiping the fake God instead of the real God, which is Allah. So mushrikeen always are dirty. Okay? So they are not even allowed to get a close to Al-Masjid Al-Haram. And now there's a big sign in the city of Mecca, in the in the street, if you drive, it says uh, this road for the Muslims and this road for non-Muslims. If you enter the road of Muslims and you are not a Muslim, they will behead you because you are dirty. You cannot enter that zone. That This is the, the city of Mecca or Al-Medina. You go there, you will be killed. And I will show you the picture. As you see in the screen, there's a street for non-Muslim and there's a street for Muslim only. Why? Because simply the Quran says in chapter, in chapter 9, verse number 28, that you as an unbeliever, you are dirty. You know, the Muslims, they speak about discrimination, what the white man did to the black man, like in South Africa. Uh, the black people used not to be allowed to take a bus but with the white people. You know, what a different. What a different. If you actually, you know, in here, you are, your blood is free. If you enter that street, this is street and you are sorry this street and if you enter the street and you are not a Muslim you will be headed right away in the spot why because you are dirty you are making the land of Allah not clean and they say to you Sharia law let us Sharia law is absolute justice there's no discrimination, there's no hate, you know, if people are equal. How you say people are equal when you say that the one is not a believer, is dirty? How you say we are equal if cities are not allowed for non-Muslims? And the excuse that they are dirty. Right now you can go and, you know, any Muslim, he can go inside any church he wants in the world, including the Vatican. 
nobody will be hit you. We don't have a sign that says the street for Christians, the street for atheists, the street for... What is that, man? Let us continue and see the absolute justice. And as you see, we are showing you proofs, not as speeches like this guy, Qasim Rashid, the lawyer, which is a liar. Now, because you are Mushrikeen, you are Kuffar, you are infidels, you are pagans, you are Christians, you are Jews, whatever, uh, you cannot enter the, the close to those cities. And uh, Allah asking the Muslims to fight. Now, to fight who? Fight against those who believe not in Allah. Oh, 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 just wait, just wait. I thought Islam don't force anything in anyone. But the Quran says, fight us if we don't believe in Allah. Why Allah saying fight us? What the reason to, of, of the fight in here? What the reason? There's no other reason. Not because you fought the Muslims. No, read it. Fight against those who believe not. He didn't say fight against those who fought you. Because in different verses in the Quran, there's fight those who fought you. I have no problem with that. But in here, it's speaking about specific people to fight. It is those who who believe not in Allah. So, you don't believe in Allah, a Muslim have an obligation. He have a duty to, to, to do. His duty is to fight you. Okay, to fight me, and what do you want? Okay, you know, when there is a war between two, uh, uh, two groups, one of them is trying to force the other one to do something, either to uh, leave a land, or to give up their right, or even to kill them all, or to enslave them, or to take their money. There is something. What in here the case? What the Muslims want from this fight? It's very clear. Because you don't believe in Allah, we will fight you. So you have one of two things. Either you believe in Allah, or we will kill you. Or we will keep fighting you until we control you, and then we will make you pages yeah. And you do it with subdued, like like a puppy, you know. We kick your ass each time you pay it. The Muslim they will say to you, by the way, that jizya mean tax. Like, don't you pay tax in America? Yeah, we pay tax. Yeah, this is jizya. Is it? But 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 just just wait, just wait. And here you are saying that you fought us, and you make victory over us, and then. You make us pay jizya. So, you are forcing us. Well, don't in America they force you to pay, to pay the tax? Like, can you say to the Department of State, or sorry, the, the IRS, they cannot uh, pay tax? Uh, absolutely not. They will take my house, they will take my car. Uh, you are right. But this is not the case. This is not a tax. And let me show you and expose the lies of Muslims when they say this is a tax. Let us continue. And re remember, I'm not explaining the Quran. I'm reading Now, this is, this is Ibn Kathir. I'm reading right now Ibn Kathir, and this is the Muslim translation, which is nothing comparing to the truth in Arabic. I'm reading for you in English because I don't want people to say, oh, he's showing us in Arabic where nobody understands. This is the Muslim's website, qtafsir.com, and this is their translation, and this is Ibn Kathir. Let's continue. Now, read with me, guys. I'm not the one is saying any word in here. Here we go. It says, Allah command his believers... His, his believing servants, the beautiful Muslims, the Muslims, Abduls, all the Abduls, the Somalian Abduls, uh, uh, the Mujahideen, uh, Husama bin Laden, uh, the, the Egyptian Abduls, all, all the beautiful Abduls, who are pure in the religion and person, to expel the idolaters who are filthy in the religious sense. Uh oh, to 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 to, to expel us. But, but, but Mr. Rashid, he just said Islam teaching Islam, Sharia law don't enforce anyone for anything. That's Mr. Rashid, I'm so disappointed. You told us, let us go back to Mr. Rashid, what he said. There is a mistake, Mr. Rashid, must be, must be. Read, brother, this is what Mr. Rashid, he said, the lawyer, Rashid Qasim, or Qasim Rashid, he said, you cannot enforce Islamic law Islamic teaching by, uh, you know, in, uh, to unwillingly person. But your Quran saying, fight them, expel them, kill them. So is that the unwillingly? Like, you know, you, you don't force us? You have, we have a choice to die? Is that what you mean, Mr. Rashid? Oh, we will not force you, you know? You have a choice. 
you don't want Sharia law, okay, we will kill you. Justice. You are free. Choose. Here we go. This is a freedom. What do you want more? You have two choices. You die or you believe. You die, you lose your house, we will take it. We will, we will rape your wife, we will enslave your wife, we will enslave your children. We will take your camel, your donkey, your car, whatever, your money. Or you convert it to Islam. It's, it's choose, choose one. Freedom. You see, this is a freedom. Choose one. Right, Mr. Rashid? Mm, what a liar you are. And here we will see all teaching of discrimination. Because when you teach people that there is people they are clean and there is people they are dirty, this is discrimination. Imagine if I say, uh, if I am a black person, I say, oh, white people are dirty. Let them not to get close to us. Or the black people are dirty. Not you know, This is real discrimination. This is racism. But racism in Islam is based on different issue. It's not about, by the way, Islam make a difference between the black people and white people too. You know, and I, can, I made a video before. Uh, it's called uh, Allah Love African. You can go and watch it. Uh, because even Muhammad, he see always the black ones is the evil one. As as long as as, as an example, uh, black dog should be killed. White or blonde dog will not be killed. They asked Muhammad, why we should uh, you know kill the black dog? He said because he is the devil. And I don't want anyone to say I'm making things up. Here we go. This is Sahih Muslim Hadith number one zero three two. You know. The Prophet, he asked him, he told him to go and kill all the black dogs. Uh, and one of the Muslims, he asked Muhammad, Prophet, like, what is, what is the feature in a black dog? To distinguish it from the red dog or the yellow dog. Okay, because why we want to kill the black dog only? You know, why the black dog is the one who corrupt our prayer? What about... Uh, uh, the, the yellow dog or the, the blonde dog or you know or the red dog uh, uh, Muhammad he said oh Abu Dhar you know what feature is in the uh, black dog he said he said the prophet oh son of my brother I asked the messenger of Allah may Allah actually Allah pray on him and salute him as you are asking and he said the black dog is the devil so even even Islamic law discriminate between dogs, not only human. A black dog he have to die. A yellow dog he can live. What a sick what a sick religion! And you are telling me this is justice. Even dogs you did not leave them alone. Actually, black dog, black cat, black horse, anything is a pure black. You have you have to be killed in Islam. He is a devil. And that can tell us why Muhammad, he said that the black, that the, the Satan is black too. As we've seen here, this is Sahih al-Bukhari. You know, Muhammad, he saw Satan, the one who will destroy the Kaaba, as a black person. For him, he is an ugly person. This is how Muhammad, he sees things. Because for Muhammad, it's very clear that Muhammad, he see people, if they are black, as ugly. Look how he describes him. And why he chose Satan to be black? In the same, by, by the way, at the same time, Muhammad he he saw Jesus that he's blonde. Let me show you. You know, for him, because the prophets are always have to be white. No way, you know, they have to be not only white; they are blonde. Okay, yes. here we go. This is the description of Jesus according to Muhammad. And I saw Jesus, a, me, a man of medium height, etc. And you know, he's red and white in color. He's not only white, he have red face and red hair. He's a, he's a red head. And the Muslim, they say to you, why many Christians, they make pictures of Jesus as a, a white blonde man. This is false, you know. If you go to India, you will see him, he look Indian. You know, this is what people imagine. 